then the management of the day-to-day -day life in the corridors of a boarding house was in the hands of the prefect's 17 or 18-year-olds with some loose control by the housemaster, who dealt with the more serious house offences and those committed outside the house. By the early 1960s, there was a good deal of discussion amongst pupils and staff as to whether this was right or not. Elsewhere, I have contributed that I attended a prep school where corporal punishment was not uncommon, but administered by adults probably in their mid-30s to mid-60s, with a good deal more life experience and ownership of the future reputation of the school. Quite simply, caning by prefects had to go.